Okay, hello YouTube. I'm gonna do an interesting experiment here on myself. I'm gonna ask the question, are the moves that I play uh, statistically that win the most, are they any good objectively? Uh, so if you like content like this, please hit that subscribe button, click on your notification icon. So anyways, my handle on Lee Chess um, is Chess Rehab, and uh, we're gonna be taking a look at uh, my openings with white. So you can see my, my blitz rating on Lee Chess. It's like, it's right around 25, 27 right now. Uh, these are the last couple games I played. Uh, my most recent games, I have a bunch of wins in here. So obviously I've been pretty, doing pretty well lately. Um, so apparently the only time I've ever played the move pawn to d4, uh, I won. So uh, it looks like I played d4 pretty well. Uh, so 100% of the time I'm winning. Um, and just kind of looking at uh, this game, it looks like it was uh, some type of exchange variation. Uh, so yeah, uh, everything is slight edge white, uh, and the game itself, uh, as I click through it, it seems pretty solid. I just played, uh, just a regular, uh, minority attack, nothing weird. Uh, I brought my pieces to solid squares. The assessment never jumps, uh, in any crazy direction for black. Uh, it's usually just right around equal or slightly better white. Uh, then it looks like I get an advantage and, uh, yeah, I'm good to go. So maybe I should play. Maybe I should play. Uh, maybe I should play D4 uh, more than just the one time that I've played it, because this is looking pretty good. I'm 19 moves in. It doesn't look like anything terrible happened. Okay, but okay, but that's only one move. So let's look at this other move. Okay, yeah, I do play H4 a lot. Uh, I've played it like 105 times uh, in the Leech database. I play it when I'm in a certain mood. You know, sometimes I play H4. A lot of times I do it like if I suspect my opponent's uh, like using a book. Uh, when they're playing. I hate it when people like play with the book open or something. So I play h4 to get them out of the book uh, just to make sure they're not using a book. Uh, so I'm actually winning a lot with it. Uh, I'm winning 59% of the time. So let's do this experiment. Let's see the most common reply is d5 and then I'm winning an amazing 60% of the time, 65% of the time. Wow. Uh, and um, I'm objectively worse. So uh, this is pretty consistent. So I'm playing c3 all the time. So this is part of my h4 preparation believe it or not i do prepare these types of things uh the most common reply is e5 and i'm playing uh oh i played d3 once probably on accident that's probably a mouse slip um but all other 38 times i played d4 with 66 percent win ratio uh still slight edge black so the computer's still saying slight edge black uh, but the most common reply is e4 and then i'm playing g3 uh 71 percent and i'm winning 71 percent of the time the most common reply is f5 and now I'm playing knight h3, 71% of the time. I should apparently be playing bishop g5, and the computer thinks I finally equalized. Well, the knight h3 it likes too. Okay, so then the most common, knight f6, and then bishop g5, and then uh, we have bishop e7, and then e3, and uh, this is saying slight edge white, so I'm actually a little bit better here. So the opening itself, super questionable. Uh, but by the time I get down to the low sample sizes, uh, like where I'm winning 100% of the time after an item beat at E7, it's, it's claiming that, that I'm actually doing quite a bit better here. And actually, I should be doing better here than I'm doing. Uh, I, I only won 50% of the games from here, uh, even though after bishop f6, bishop f6, uh, queen h5, my position should be close to decisive. Uh, so I'm not doing as good as I should be doing. Uh, King f8, knight f4, yeah, this should be decisive, and apparently one of the games that I played this in, I, I actually lost it. So so again, when we get down to the super low sample sizes, we don't always see that the statistics line up with the reality of the position, because the reality of this position is this position is absolutely dead one for white, and um, it very embarrass embarrassingly, uh, in the only game that I played this, I actually... Uh, uh, managed to uh, lose. Uh, so just just for fun, uh, I'm just curious in the Masters database, how does H4 do? <laughs> just just curiosity. So if I compare my results to the Masters database, number one, I can't find H4. So can I find H4 if I just plug it? It's in there. Okay, so we've got we've got D5 is the most common, and in the Masters database, Magnus Carlson, thank you for backing me up on this. Of course, the world champion has played it. Why wouldn't he? Uh, so, so Magnus Carlson, how did you, how did you proceed, Magnus? How did you proceed from here? Uh, we have pawn to d4, probably, was this Magnus? Did, yes, Magnus played pawn to d4, and, uh, this position is objectively better for black, but hey, when the world champion's got your back, he's getting a draw in this position. Uh, who's winning? Uh, Cadus himself, uh, the guy that, the, the guy that this opening was actually named after, uh, 
Cadus himself had several wins in this, uh, the Cadus opening that's H4, when H4 is called the Cadus opening. So a shout out to the guy that actually kind of invented H4. But yeah, objectively, uh, Black's a little bit better uh, after 1H4. Uh, 1H4 is not really a great uh, first move, but again, when we get down to the low sample sizes, uh, suddenly the statistics uh, become a little bit skewed. Uh, especially when you have, uh, you know, guys like the world champion playing it um, and, you know, things like that. So anyways, I hope you found this video entertaining. Uh, none of these uh, moves are meant to be taken uh, as suggestions of any kind. Uh, absolutely not. Uh, just, uh, just kind of an entertaining video. Um, maybe you can try some of these ideas in your own games. Uh, but please, if you like content like this, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, click on the notification icon, and thank you very much for watching.